Hello everyone and welcome to a brand new episode of Women of Arabia. Women of Arabia is a platform where we showcase women from all walks of life who with their sheer determination and their passion and hard work they have carved a niche and created a life of their dreams. And today in conversation with me are two beautiful ladies so in the true spirit of women of Arabia, we've got women here. It's so Arneet Kaur Chuk yes. and Rashmi Seth. Yes. They are the founders of Beaumont, Dubai. Welcome to Women of Arabia, the Thank two you. of you. Thank you. So it's a pleasure to have. This is the first time I'm actually having two women on the show. Okay. All right, because it's always one on one. And they are together for so many years. They've started Beaumont together. And they're like, we're not going to do this without the other. <laughs> like Arneet was... Arneet was very, very clear. I'm not going to do this without Rashmi. So I'm like, okay, fine. Nobody's separating you. So how long have you known each other? So for about three years now. Three years. Yes. So have, is that when you started Vermont? No, we didn't actually. Ooh. It took a lot of time to really start because there were lot of, lots of coffee meets and discussions on the subject. And then we really wanted to know that if there was a need in the market, we did surveys and everything. And that's how it came about last year, actually. So it's just about one year that we've been Yes, but us. one year, but many people have heard about it. It's yes. creating lots of ripples mm -hmm. in the UAE market, in Dubai especially. So when you say it's just been a year, it it doesn't feel it like... Doesn't a, feel like yeah, yeah. It, yeah, it really doesn't feel like... Because it is, uh, touch wood, been very yes. successful, yes. right? Yes. So how did you meet? Probably we should start so with we that. We met in social circles. Yeah. yeah, and then we clicked over there. Okay. Yeah, and then we met over a cup of coffee to start this club. And initially it was like a social events club. Mm -hmm. But when we found the need of uh, networking and business women and all, so we kind of uh, evolved into <coughs> the Vermont Dubai. Okay, she's, she's really not well today. <laughs> so you'll get a lot of throat clearing, throat clearing happening today, but excuse that. That's how we are, right? No matter what. <laughs> Get up, dress up, and then go. Sure. <laughs> yes, exactly. So when you say club, what what did you mean by club? What was the idea of the club that you wanted to start? See, uh, basically we started with the idea of, we know that lots of people, you know, they socialize. Mm. So we wanted to, you know, uh, celebrate all the festivals here. So that's how we started with the idea that we're going to do that. We're going to celebrate all the festivals. Like a very festive look. Okay. Yeah, bring everything together. <laughs> So that's mm -hmm. what we wanted to do. And is it just um, a community-based festivals or you just no, thought no, about no, no, okay. no. Anything, international? Okay. You know, yeah. It's not, not uh, you know, segmenting it to one hmm. center or anything. We didn't want to do that. Hmm. And uh, that was the idea initially when we started. But then, um, you know, when we were doing it, there were many learning curves, actually. We really saw gaps in the market where the uh, demand was to really, you know, help them promote their business. And of course, they were, we were doing social events. And we always think, you know, for housewives, we definitely socialize with each other, but we really do not know what the other person is actually doing in life. You know, right. there's so much to learn from each other. And then we started our workshops and seminars and uh, master classes. We had parties, we had master classes, camping, okay. a mixture of all, so that it's everything great. Yes. Right. And then was it um, again? Was it relegated mm -hmm. because you mentioned housewives? Did you think about housewives actively so at that point? We started no. with housewives, oh. yeah. and then it went on to the business women because, yes. yeah. Because oh, that's... It was the need is there basically because housewives normally party a lot if you yeah. see in Dubai. Mm. So we thought the need is there where the businesswoman because I was working for corporate office for almost 12 years and I always believed that I wish this kind of a thing existed that time when I was getting into the profession mm. because there is no platform wherein a lady, a professional person can network connect and grow together true so yeah. I thought that is what is required here mm. and as uh, at the same time mingle and socialize with each other mm. so we thought of like why can't we do this together right. and build a community which is diverse and, and especially in Dubai because being yes. an expatriate community yes. so we, we have need to that platform. right and we have to create a home away from home yes. right yeah. so yes. this is how we can network and create that yes. kind yes. of connections and so just to quickly let them know what exactly is Vermont all about and your vision when you started. So what exactly is it? So Vermont is basically, you know, a networking club. Okay. And it's a women empowerment club as well. So we provide pl platforms for working women where they can showcase their business. 
So we definitely find a lot of networking happening around their networking events happening. We do specialist, specialized kinds of events like speed networking where they you know, have limited time to interact with each other and get to know the other person and then you know, increase their network and their database and then you know, their business as well. Mm. And on the other side as well, that uh, we have a social wing as well as I said, and that is basically for housewives to give them a meaningful events where they can learn and explore and you know, why not come up with the idea to do something in life. Mm. So you also provide platforms you mentioned for people who yes. got so talents. We, yes, so we have the members who are doing something, achieving something in their life. So we have curated members events for them, wherein we try to get the people in on the places like if they have a studio or a dance studio or if they are leaders. So we try to get people there and promote them, give them a platform to showcase their expertise. And is it something which you do just for the members? Uh, yes. And yes. how do they get a membership? It's only women, right? Yeah. It's only okay. Women. Yeah. yeah. So yeah. how do they get a membership? So there's basically two ways you can. So if you're joining the club uh, for business point of view, if you want to, you know, do events with us and all, so then there's a separate fee which they have to pay. If you are joining as a housewife just to, you know, socialize and attend master classes, then there's a different fee. For different that. fee for that. Yeah. And in and there are times when both would merge, right? Yes, both yes, these yes. requirements. Of social events is for both the okay. business ladies and the social. Yeah. yeah. Okay. But, the, but the speed networking event is only for the businessmen because we want them to kind of network and grow the business for each other. Okay. Yeah. So let's go back to both your childhood or, you know, many, many years. How long have you both been in UAE? And 17 years. How many? 17 years. 17, okay. <laughs> 16 years. 16 years. And what were you doing before? So I was a housewife and, um, uh, you know, most of of my life taking care of kids but before this I had my own restaurant wow yeah where it was in Lamsi okay Lamsi Mall uh, by the name of Oi Punjabi uh -huh. so it is a completely totally authentic Punjabi cuisine mm -hmm. and um, I did it for three years but then Lamsi got fire so I had to shut it down so now I had nothing to do but then you know that's how uh, Rashmi approached me with the idea okay. and that's how we planned and started all right, fine. And you, what um, were you? I was into corporate for almost 12 years. Uh, the seed of this networking thing started from there because that time we were like struggling to network, to understand, to connect with people who are of high caliber. So that is how it started. Okay. Yeah. All right. So when both of you grew up, which part of the world? Both of you grew up in India? Or? Yes. Yeah. All right. And growing up, did you ever think this whole entrepreneur passion? Yeah? Yeah. Yeah, I always had a passion for this. So, so you always had the entrepreneur spirit in you? Yes. Okay. Not the entrepreneur spirit, but I always thought when I was like in college or maybe in school that time to start something with the ladies because in India when we see how... Which part cases, of India were you I'm from? I'm from Rajasthan, okay. okay. Maritime Delhi. Okay. So, I saw these cases every day in the newspaper. You see the ladies, this has happened to the girls, this has happened to the ladies. So, I always thought why not the women can get together. Hmm and uh, form that uh, uh, kind of the they power. are a they very, are powerful, very very powerful, powerful force together but they are not able to address those issues because they are not able to approach each other for that mm -hmm. for is it still the same you feel back home or here in india yes it is still yes, the same yes. right yeah so my daughter is dating and i can't send her to india mm -hmm. the child is going out or she's going out when you're comfortable they'll come back All, yes and also <coughs> speaking about women and uh, in, in general about what you mentioned about how women in you know all together yes. uh, they are a force here we do feel that a lot of course for our outer society or the western society don't really know the kind of power that women have yes, in this country yes, yes. but here it also gives you kind of an incentive right to do something like this because yeah. it's easier to kind of uh, expose over here that exposure is here because I think it's a small place mm -hmm. and it's easier to connect with different people if I want to connect with somebody saying in the other part of the world it's very easy mm -hmm. to connect but in yeah. India it's not that easy yeah, but India's huge it's huge oh my yeah. yeah I mean I haven't been to Rajasthan I don't yeah. even know how Rajasthan <laughs> looks so yeah, India is huge. We can't yes. uh, true, but then even state-wise, it's, state difficult. it's difficult. It's, it's, it's bigger. Difficult. Yes. Yeah, it is. Yeah. What about you? Growing up, did you feel you were ever going to be an entrepreneur? See, dream. Uh, the beginning, I've been around business people. So my father was from the business business background. My brother was. My husband is. 
So, but I never had this thing in me, like mm-hmm. to do business, you know. Mm-hmm. And actually, uh, in are you the only child, girl? No, no, no. Okay. I've got um, an older brother and a sister as well. Okay. Guess. And uh, growing up, did, when when you yeah. say everyone else was business people, yeah, uh, did was it ever expected from you to not mm-hmm. follow that? Not follow that. Like well, you know, typical Indian society. Typical <laughs> Indian Punjabi, you know. Exactly. Seek home where, where, where what, what you really do is okay, fine, education is good, everything is fine, you're done, you're going to get married. Yes. You know, that's that was right. <laughs> that's why I asked. We were never inculcated with this idea that you have to do something, okay? Mm-hmm. But actually, I'm quite opposite in that mm-hmm. sense because I made it very clear to my daughter that I'm sorry I'm not getting you married unless you are doing something. You know? I say that too. <laughs> so, uh, well, yeah, so it was never in me. Mm. But then, uh, you know, eventually, you know, when I got married, I had my kids and then they were, they were growing up Then you know, the needs of the mother, they get very, very yeah. less, you know, you know, yeah. they're they're boy, really they yeah. And then I was like, what to do? I can't socialize every single day. I can't. And then, you know, I got into a couple of things and, um, uh, the restaurant was just by chance. It was just all by luck. I, I never have this, uh, you know, inclination to with food. Or if you say that I was a good cook, no, I was a great cook. And no, you're a Punjabi. <laughs> Punjabi woman. You can't say you're an average Dubai cook. Dubai has quite I <laughs> can't. Your dad and mom will be <laughs> cringing. I'm never, never really uh, never fond of, uh, you know, cooking. Cooking. Okay. But, but, but eating. Food. Eating, yes, yes. <laughs> yeah. Uh, but then it, it fell into my lap, and uh, my husband then he pushed me that because he was already even taking care of that uh, business, and mm. he got this opportunity, and he uh, jumped for it, and he thought he would be able to manage it. But then he was like, you know, six months down the line, the rents are on and everything, and you just couldn't do anything. And okay. then he was like, okay, uh, this is you. You have to do it. Wow. And I was like, I'm a housewife. I don't do anything. He said, you'll learn. I said, what do I do next? Okay, go, you know, for your meetings and all. And, you know, with, with zero knowledge, I don't even know how to really, you know, start a conversation with really? them. Okay. But then I did. And then right from the beginning to the licensing. See, everything. that's the power of women, that's like you power. say. Yeah. yeah, so I loved But it was a great experience. You yeah. would say that you were pushed into it or? Um, no, well then, you know. Kind of, it was, In the beginning, right? yes, I was. Yeah. I was not that confident. But then, then eventually, you know, things started happening and I, I, I grew more and more confident. Then, you know, food tasting, everything, getting the chefs and everything just, you know, fell into place. And of course, it was a learning curve, you know, I did a lot, lot of mistakes. Of course, that's, that's <laughs> we how we learn, yeah. But wasn't it easier to just say, no, I can't and just quit? What made you just say, no, I want to prove my name? <laughs> ah, is it? No, that was an option for me. <laughs> <laughs> and I was like, oh, <laughs> you know, but then... Well. Uh, Try. Okay. But then when I did, and I was like, okay, I can do this, you know. Mm. And then uh, eventually everything fell into place, and I was able to do that. And mm. uh, unfortunately, of course, that didn't. Mm. Yeah, but then of course it's a lot of work. A restaurant, if you know, if people generally think that it's it's very easy to do one if you have some access money. You know, you can just uh, access money. You can just keep it there, and the first thing you do is you open a restaurant. Mm. But I suggest please don't do that. I know. I've heard of. <laughs> I just started she, 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 Okay. She, I just started Haven't you learned anything from her in the past three months, three years? No. Because was doing really well. Okay. Yeah. So, so where is this? So it's by the name of Tapli. It's in Sapir Malajman. Tapli. Tapri. Tapri. Yeah. It's Tapri. Tapli means a dhaba. Okay. So it has like it's like a street food of India oh, and all that. Okay. So I should I should come. Yeah, sure. It's in Sharjah, you said. It's in Ajma. It's in Sapir Ajma. Malajman. So okay. I was working for that group and all. Uh-huh. I kind of knew the football in Ashman and all. So okay. From there, now trying to open in Dubai. Nice. So that's <laughs> going well then. So when you say you, it's, is it just you or you have support from your family or how, how does it work? Mm, uh, it's from my husband. Okay. Yes. All right. So the both of you. support, yeah. Okay. That's nice. Yeah. That's <laughs> close, you know. <laughs> <laughs> so like experience. Experience. Right. Yes. So True. Support, yeah. Will you ever consider starting another restaurant? She has definitely, you know, thrown that idea across. <laughs> <the world. laughs> so how do you both work? Like you met three years back, and obviously we just played so well. Okay. So we, we complement each other. I say. Yeah. You, know. you did say and something we earlier. Have, yes, we both have, yeah, like balance each other basically. Right. Yes, exactly. She's more of a, you know, a creative person. Okay. So if you want to create an event or something with a member, she's the one. 
you could go to and you know because she's got that idea and like while talking she can just cook up so many things you know give them through them ideas and they'll be like okay yeah fine we're doing it okay you know, and, I'm, and she's the people's person Oh, yeah. Wow. So, okay. So you get that. And do you think it's really important when some two people or more than it's one person is starting? It's very you need important. to have that balance. You have to have that balance. Yes. 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 yes definitely. Right. If, if two. Yeah. Please. Because because I really feel that you know, whenever we are doing an event, I mean, it's just not just that simple straight. No, not it's it's not for us. There's a lot of thinking involved. A lot of you know. arguments as well because yeah. then she has her point of view i have my point of view and then we really work it out and then find it's like even to do a thing you know as simple as maybe do a calendar for the whole year you know we we'll, we'll have lots as of sessions okay oh, you know really she was saying that we need sessions and we really Why this? Why not that? And you know, a lot of things we listen to. So. Oh my God! Okay, which But was the amazing. worst? Amazing. Was the worst fight? No, oh, tell us. Fight? No, you never fought. Arguments. Yes, today. Okay. The thing is, I go too deep into things, and maybe she is like, just yeah, <laughs> just, 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 think, just not use it. Don't think too much. Just go with the flow. Something. Okay, she has something. <laughs> you know i'm going to business we're trying to run it and then she gets a little bit uh, okay now we have to check this we have to deep go deep down and i'm like okay fine i i can see that and this is there move on let's let's work it yeah, out you so know it's like i like go into deep and she and then goes like too much go with the flow. don't yeah. think too much <clears throat> the thing is that i have seen this in my family right i have don't i see this every day with my husband mm. there are lots of issues when you're doing business i mean you you have to really you know let go of what and there's yeah. so much happening every time and to deal with 100 women more than 100 women <laughs> ah, is so that's not how you and easy yeah yes. so every day it's like uh, uh, you know learning so do you have a team do you deal with them directly how does it yes. how does it work yes we have a team okay but again to deal with lady has in the club has almost 110 ladies now oh. Wow. Okay. So okay. Uh, to understand what they want from the club, to understand what they need is can be very demanding and also. Yeah, demanding and to cater, but that's that's how that's where we come in picture. That okay, okay so this is what you need, and we'll uh, you know uh, deliver that. Okay. Yeah. And you think it's because you said you were in corporate uh, work before, job before. Do you think it's now that you're full time into this? I love. I yeah. I love this job. Yeah. yeah. I love this what I'm doing right now. Because I was always in events. I was heading the marketing hmm. before, so I was always in events, and event is my forte. Okay. So I'm just thoroughly enjoying this. Really? Yes. Okay. This is part. If at any point, if you feel like somebody gives you a corporate job back, would you no. consider? No. I got already. No. When is she there? She's yet. Yeah. Okay, and then she's not considering no. it. Okay. That's that's nice to know. Oh wow. So do you have a space that that's there, like a proper office that is there? Yes. Okay. Yes. Where is it? Uh, in business space. Okay. Yeah. And do you do a lot of events there at that no, particular? No, no, no. no, no, no. Okay, not it's there. just a. It's, yeah, it's happening in different locations. Mm. You know, where it's like it depends upon what kind of event we are doing. So speed network must be generally yeah. in conference rooms or something like that. Okay. We do there. Mm. And members even are generally at their venue because that's the whole idea. They want football, football at their place and they right. want to showcase their business. Mm. So it's accordingly inside. Like and that. you might have the course of one year have seen so many different because, like we mentioned, women in general, yeah. especially some housewives, I've seen that. Like in your case, they never knew that they are capable of something other than yeah, being yeah. a housewife, yeah. right? Yes. And then they just something as simple as making beads and jewelry at home, soap making. so many talented women with different yes, yes. have yes. you have you had across you know come across such talents in the past? many yeah. like many right now and right. i i feel people inspire each other so much when they're together mm. like a person who is doing healing a person who is doing something else like see, there's so many healers out here so each other is inspiring you know it's like amazing right Yeah, it's basically the, the, it gives a platform when you're starting up as well because you already have yeah. a you know have your public right in front of you where you can really showcase what you're doing. You know? Yeah. So public is our forty. And That's also the feel. fact that you know they all know each other probably yes. as members or anything it gives yes, you that kind of a confidence, yes, right? Yes. Well. Yeah, yeah, that confidence factor would be there, which is very important because as women we tend to put ourselves down a lot. Totally. 
right? We are our biggest critic. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Right? Yeah. Yeah. Have, you, yeah. have you had chances where you had to counsel these women? Have you ever had to? Uh, see, counseling as such, of course, see, it basically when, when it's basically in business terms, yes, of course, because they that require our ideas, our expertise, you know, what really can be done here. If they don't have anything, then we are the one, we are the solution providers. Mm-hmm. That's what we do. Okay. You know, generally on that side. On the other side, also, I'm a life skill coach as well. So, of course, people come to me for, you know, any other solution, if they're facing anything, any advices, they have to when did that happen? <laughs> when did that happen? You told me you had a business, you had a restaurant, but yeah, when did this happen? It's a, it's a, as I told you, you know, when like my kids were, they were growing up, then I really, you know, felt that need of doing something. Mm. So then um, I went back to India and did a, you know, a short course. And that's where I all start. I started this. But then what I really found different in that was that, you know, that kind of a study was giving me... Um, uh, you know, knowledge of how to direct people to decide for themselves about their life. Generally, life coaches are the ones who direct you what to do. Yeah. But it's not with me. What I do is that, you know, of course, I'd sit with the person and listen what is really happening in their life. Then they would do a course with me, you know, like a book course, mm-hmm. where they will really dig in deep, try to find out what's wrong and try to, and try to find out solution for them. So I'm just the... Just there to stay yeah, there, you know, yeah. there and just explain them what's there. Right. That's it. So the best decisions are, you know, yeah. take it from yourself. We all know take what's the best decision. Yes, But exactly. we just try to... Because I'm not living their life. So I do not really know, you know, what they're going through and all. I can just, you know, from outside, whatever I can see, you can see. And I don't get the right to decide what the other person do, should do about their life. That's something which I've had some issues with some healers also. I've seen... Most healers, um, they become healers because they have their own issues. issues that they wanted to clarify, right, or clear. But I've seen them and they're talking to clients. They always try to put in their thought process a yes, lot, yes. Which, which is not right. Which is not right. Yeah, okay. it's completely... Because the best way to increase a person's potential is to increase the person's self-determinism hmm. and make the person more responsible in life. Yeah. That's how you get a better and a senior person. So right now your Vermont is based entirely out of Dubai, right? And are you planning to expand? Looking yes, to... we are. We're trying to expand in Delhi mm. and in South Africa. We're what? In... Yeah, because somebody... <laughs> I thought you would say Abu Dhabi, so poor people like me <laughs> would get a chance. Let me try it. Okay. Yeah, but then somebody from South Africa, Africa approached the person visited here, and then you know I, I got to meet her, and then uh, she was quite interested in the concept because it's completely new over there, and she wanted to start. Okay, so, so it'll yeah, be like a franchisee, is it? Oh. Uh, yeah, it's going to be something like that. So we okay. just in talking terms, and we'll see how yeah. it. Uh, That's it nice. Yeah. And Delhi, because. Both of you, are you People also? Love Delhi. Yeah. Yes, yes, yes. Okay, yes, yes. all right. And you think Delhi needs something like this, right? See, before we. I think every place needs like something like this. <laughs> yeah. Sure, every you're right, you're yes, right. Yes, you're right yes. about that. But of course, there is some groundwork which needs to be done, and we will do that to make sure because mm-hmm. we do not enter into anything before doing our surveys and doing our groundwork. You know? Of so course. We do that. Yeah. So, do you think a place like Dubai, yeah. being like we mentioned, women, and in general, it's a safe place, it's a more welcoming place for ideas the fact that you've started it here was might be a reason why it is more successful if we had started something like this somewhere else would you do you think it would have been as successful as receptive i think it would yeah yes yes okay and i I think even more okay i don't know why but i i feel that way Mm -hmm. because there are see first of all you really need to find the gaps in the market and every place has a different yeah Right. Need. The need and requirements yeah. at every place. Yeah. Yeah. So the thing is that as we have evolved here, of course we're gonna do there Let's as see. well. Okay. It's not necessary. Maybe you know, there people need more social events yeah. than rather than business. Mm. So the club is going to evolve that way. Okay. All so, right. Of course yes. so we, can, can, we kind of evolve it. with every year, with every in fact every month we change like things. Yes, yeah. yes, yes. Okay. All right. So what are some of the main calendar activities that you have? The last years? Yeah. So we had parties, uh, besides parties, we had camping, which went really well. Yeah. Okay. It was like a glamping thing. Oh, okay. Yeah. <laughs> and it's all the women, even doing all your glamping. Women. Okay, all that's, right. that's yes. interesting. 
then we had uh, networking events mm. uh, then we had speed networking we had uh, members events besides we had so member events had like classes you know yeah, master classes. classes like on 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 makeup hair do's and yeah. uh, something like um, uh, i think uh, the landscaping yeah. basically okay yeah, something to do your own stuff at home like if yeah. you have a garden to do you know uh, some virtual uh, garden and all that oh that's nice yeah, yeah. Okay. something like that then there were healing workshops and uh, stuff like that so okay and of course we were organized and an also, outside trip for the ladies we took them yeah. to georgia for three days and it was wow <laughs> it was a rocking trip we also did one awareness event that was less cancer awareness Mm-hmm. the cancer awareness month mm-hmm. that went really well with meridian okay yeah all right so do these people <coughs> uh, like let's say your members they come up with ideas for you or do you have a creative time team we other do than talk you to them. We okay do talk to, and they tell us like okay this is what i want so normally i talk to them for the events and all so if i feel the need is there so i curate the event around it okay yeah all right and in terms of setting up businesses for them Uh, you said you it's just so networking. So we have our members okay. who set up the business, so we kind of uh, connect, connect them. Yeah, connect them. Yes. All them right. Yeah. Okay. Fine. Oh, that sounds great. Yeah. And um, have you ever thought, probably because we've uh, over the course of Women of Arabia, we've met some women who are doing for let's say working moms. They don't have a particular platform um, in terms of their licensing, like rather than, for example, your healer. Mm-hmm. and for her to start her own licensing year would be more difficult right mm-hmm. like it it is a process yes, it's a process. so have you ever thought probably womont would kind kind of expand to that well no i don't think so no 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 we're not thinking from that, that it's just on the parties no. and uh, networking kind networking of networking and you know supporting them there are many other ways you know we can support them people are trying to you know send in their whatever you know even their monthly offers what they are offering to people if they have discounts in particular months and everything so we do not only promote them only amongst the members but we have a huge database of you know like 700 ladies oh. so we push them everywhere yeah okay oh that's so nice so it's like we just need to sit with them and discuss and you know what do you need mm. and that's how we really come up with everything okay that. and what has been the biggest challenge so far hmm. the mm. event wise anything wise setting up a company awareness from event. now the cancer awareness event yeah that was huge it was the was most challenging and okay. was the most successful but why challenging because, because it got cancelled like i think a week before yeah, yeah there was lots happening at that time yeah, yeah. yeah. and we so. just took it as a challenge that we will do this event and we'll make sure 200 ladies attend this event 200 ladies and wow. i think 150 or 175 yeah, ladies yeah, came yeah, yeah. 175 that's yeah that's really that nice done up. and the event was cancelled i think a week 10 days before yeah and, and how do you cope up with things like that when events get cancelled or such unexpected detractions come I along think the, i think with the positivity i think just just be positive and just work towards it That's when you will go into your Focus. detailing, yes, right? Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, that's how it is. No, I just take it up as a challenge. Like, I have to make it happen. Mm. Yeah. Okay. And your family back home, your parents, for example, did you have any business background, your father or no, mother? No. Nothing at all. No. So how did your parents take the whole news or your family take the whole news They're when you decided? Extremely proud of me. Did they? <laughs> Not like the typical parents no, were like, are you sure you have a very good job? Yeah, yeah. extremely proud of him oh. because he always he is a president of rotary club in india okay so he kind of really he can relate like now you know he gives me ideas why don't you do this why don't you do that so oh, it's nice yeah. Yeah. and what about your family support yeah totally totally yeah, yeah. actually in whatever i do No. <laughs> Now you've got kids, both of you, and your oldest children are. Let's like we were discussing, uh, like mine too. We are in the stage of next set yes. of their lives, right? Yes. So, what would be starting a business of your own that you can pass on to daughters mainly? Because boys, they somehow they just tend to did, yes. yes, right. I we did. we need to focus more on our women, our girls. Totally, totally. So, what kind of advice do you give them? Um, to See, follow them. For for my daughter, she's going uh, into a completely different field. Mm. She's a wonderful singer, and uh, plus she's gone into fitness. Okay. So what she's going to do is she's she's apply for uh, human nutrition and dietetics. So that's what she wants to okay. pursue. So, but definitely she wants to do it from a business angle because she wants to have a business of her own and not be a simple dietitian. Mm. You know? 
Um, she definitely thinks that there is a gap in the market when you say that, okay, people do die, they lose weight, and again, they go back. Right. You know, exactly. it's a challenge. Yeah. So she really feels that she really needs to overcome that. It's interesting how kids now think about they, all that, I the gap in the market. More, much more focused yes. uh, in what they are really, you know, doing. I yeah. Think. And at the same time, it's surprising because most of the time, all you see is them on their phones and... Uh, they don't have too much of world knowledge, is what yes, we feel. Yeah. Yes, but yes. But somehow I think they're, they're going well. I think yeah. they're much more focused. They know what. Really but why do you, how do you why do you think is that? Why what went wrong for us that we were we had lots of world knowledge, like we knew the the president of this country or who is it? We did, but then you know we also have to see that earlier when we were young, you know, we did not have these many fields. Today, you choose anything. Mm-hmm. And you can master in that and become anything you want. You know, opportunities. Opportunities are a lot more. And mm-hmm. plus, uh, and they're very clear in their vision. Exactly, and, they're very clear. and, and they, they, the thing is, the parents are more open-minded. I think that's what the, the difference. What the kids yeah. talk to us today, I mean, we would never yeah. even dream yeah. to talk about. Exactly, yeah. that's the difference. I feel it starts at home. Yeah, yeah. Starts yeah. At home. yeah. yeah. I think the the dialogue we continue. So, so yeah, we are that uh, middle generation who's experienced. I think both, both sides. Yeah. yeah, the analog and the digital life. Yeah. Right? Yeah. <laughs> we have. Yeah, exactly. yeah, I think that so, has. Yeah. What about you? Do you feel the same? It's the dialogue. Do you? Yeah, my daughter. She's also a different field again. She's into medicine. Mm. She's going to become a doctor. Okay. So, she's going. so that son is a uh, going to be a cricketer. So he's okay. Like I said, anything, you want, anything yeah. you want to get. Yeah, yeah. And I think these are dreams which um, nowadays the parents like us we do support. We support. Yeah. yeah. Totally. Earlier people yeah. did not have so, too much of a choice. Yeah. Like us, for instance, like you said, yeah. in a family, you you never thought mm-hmm. about doing anything other than exactly. yeah. getting married. Exactly. Because <laughs> <laughs> that's what was told to us, right? Yeah. No matter what it was, yes. you had a very clear cut yeah. path. <laughs> so what's the next step for Beaumont? What are your plans? Where do you see yourself? Okay. So then, well, next now, year, of course, the next year is rolling now. So we start from September. We, have, yeah. we always keep a break of two months because as people are traveling, yeah. okay. and, you know, <coughs> we also need time for ourselves. <laughs> <laughs> ah, so two months is out. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Okay. Two months. So we start preparing, of course, you know, the preparations, they go on. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, the thing is that mainly from August, we sit down and, you know, and work towards September for the... Next calendar, the very simple calendar that you were saying. No, it's a very extensive. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And yeah, I know. So you know, and then you know, talk to the members, a lot of the months and everything which one yeah. I would like to do. So you kind of also meet also everybody in these two months. Whoever is here, meet them, understand their requirements and mm-hmm. needs, and prepare the calendar accordingly. And we also have around three to four events in a month. Wow. For next yeah. year. A lot. So yes. yeah. So that's the reason these two months will be a little hectic for us. Mm-hmm. Decide the venues. Decide and the how events. does the funding come in for these e- venues uh, for these events? When you say four events, do you get it? It's a just through the members uh, membership. Yeah. Because it's expensive to host an event, any event, right? Totally. Yeah. Totally. But see, some of the events are free events for the members, like the, the members' event. So the member is hosting it. Okay. Right. So any kind of masterclass, everything, whatever is happening, is happening at their venue. Yeah. So that doesn't give us any cost, right? So uh, the member who's hosting it, you know, they, they bear the cost of whatever okay. it is as it's their promotion, this mm. thing. But some of the events are chargeable as well, apart from the membership fee, like networking events, of mm. course. But we try to keep the minimum range, you know, where, where we have not, uh, we don't have any idea of, you know, getting money on the. Yeah. Uh, yeah, but then the, the cost of running a business and running that an event would be a lot, cost right? Is obviously the, the membership fee goes towards okay. our admin cost, but otherwise, uh, every event has a minimal charge. Okay. Yeah. All right. Because so that's, that's the only way in which we can. Yeah. 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 Right. Yeah. Because we, this is not a market where we can use the sponsor. No, no, we can't process. because mm-hmm. getting sponsorship is, yes. it's, 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 it's a bit difficult now. Mm-hmm. Right. That's why I was asking. Mm-hmm. And, and when you expand to South Africa, do you, I don't know if you plan to go yes. set yourself initially, there initially. No, initially, of course, for, mm-hmm. you know, to, you know, set up and of course, and you know, earlier, of course, we were going to do that. But then mm-hmm. after later on, I'm sure that the person is capable of enough uh, you know to handle because it's not once once everything is streamlined then yeah. it's at home yeah know, and when you look at these franchisees like you're doing with south africa probably with delhi also yeah. what do you look for the right person who would handle it 
See, what are the qualities? The person should have the passion. Mm. Yeah, that's first and foremost. Yes. Okay, and connections as well. Yes. Because of course you would need a huge social circle when you are trying to promote yourself. Okay. So yeah. in this, nobody else is helping you in creating a social circle. That's what we do. You know, for people. So you should be well connected. So and were you both when you started here? Where did you have your own yes. circle? Yes. Ah, okay. Yes, circle. Mm. But yeah, it's mostly word of mouth and all. We have not advertised much. Mm. This year, but mm. next year we will do that. Okay. And when you started, like you said, you had your own circle. And was it easy for you to talk? Because sometimes it is difficult for us to talk to our own circle yeah, that's and tell them. True. Right? That's it, true. That's it's easier to talk. Part. Yeah, it's easier to talk to strangers than to people yes. we know. Yes, yes, no, that, that's totally there. But then, yes, for some of them, of course, they do yes. it their own will and all. Yeah. Mm. But of course, there were many members which are coming from all around. You know, where once it was uh, when we started uh, rolling out the events and everything, how it was going. There were people approaching us from... Okay, directly from, coming. Yeah, yeah. Everybody. Okay. That's All right. Nice. That's nice. <laughs> so, hopefully soon we'll see you in Delhi and yeah. South Africa and yeah. please in Abu Dhabi. Because <laughs> <laughs> we've got a great community there. <laughs> right? So, that was amazing. Thank you both so much Thank for being part so much, of yes. Women Thank of you. India. It was such a pleasure to have the two of you. Wish you all the best. Wish all the great successes for Bumon. Thank you. Thank you. It's called Bumon Dubai, but very soon it'll be Bumon, South Africa, Bumon Delhi, Abu Dhabi, who knows? Thank you very much. So that was another amazing episode of Women of Arabia. Stay tuned for another one. Thank you.